so today in this module we will begin with our discussion of the next chapter that is pair of linear equations in two variables now see children the name of the topic itself suggests too many things so we will learn we try to understand first of all the meaning of the name of the topic itself so when i say first the word linear equations now you have already looked you already know children what are linear equations last year we have studied linear equation in two variables so linear equation in two variables do you remember the form yes what was the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where x and y were the variables a and b were the coefficients c was the constant term correct so if i give you an example we had something like this 2x plus 3y minus 7 is equal to 0 or minus 12 is equal to 0 which later on we used find how 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 minus 7 used to go there correct and this was a linear equation in two variables i had also told you if you remember linear what does the word linear suggest how was the graphical representation yes it was a straight line linear equation in two variables we used to draw a straight line do you remember how many solutions it had exactly it had infinitely many solutions do you remember assume the value of x get the value of y or assume the value of y get the value of x plot the two points join the two points get the line we used to draw the line like this and write the equation of over the line 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 do you remember all these things so yes this this was our linear equation in two variables made up of infinitely many points all these points joined together gave us a straight line correct and this straight line itself these points itself were the solutions so we had said that a linear equation in two variables has got infinitely many solutions this was the standard form correct so just adding on to the concept of moving ahead what we are saying this year same thing linear equation in two variables linear equation in two variables but now the important word what has come is pair of so what is the what is the meaning of pair pair means two correct pair means two so this year we will have two linear equations in two variables if we are going to have two linear equations we are going to have two straight lines that's what we are going to do this year pair of means two linear now linear equation means what do you remember what was linear try to remember yes linear what was what degree 1 highest power of the variable used to be 1 remember linear means degree 1 quadratic means degree 2 cubic means degree 3 we are going to restrict ourselves right now in this chapter with linear equations that is equations whose variables have a highest degree as 1 and then pair pair now see when i say pair obviously i am going to say about two lines so which are these two lines going to be very quickly we are going to see how these two lines are going to be represented so what you can see on your screen right now it is a1x see first equation will have the notations as 1 the second equation will have the notations as 2 so it would be what as you can see a1x plus b1y Plus c one equal to zero, a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero. So now see you can see here a one and a two are the coefficients of x. B one and b two are the coefficients of y. C one and c two are the constant terms of these two pair. Two means what pair? So this becomes a pair, and this pair is now called as a system of equations. Okay, so this becomes a pair. of linear equations in two variables and if it is a pair we said that there are going to be two straight lines now what you are going to do is that imagine how could we draw two straight lines on the same plane this 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 board is a plane my white board 
if I were to draw two lines, how I will draw them? Yes, one is very, very true, intersecting lines. Another one, can you tell me? Yes, you are right. Non-intersecting, that is the parallel lines. Is there any other way? Apart from intersecting and parallel. Okay. Do you want to say, suggest something like this, that these two lines, they are neither intersecting nor parallel? Huh? No. Why see? Because, suppose if I extend this line, okay, if I extend this line like this, and if I extend this line, again at some point they are going to intersect. Okay. So, earlier, when they were actually like this form, this form, which was neither intersecting nor parallel, but when we would have extended them, they would have met. So again, they fall into the same category. Okay. So apart from these two, either intersecting or parallel, there is no other third form. If at all you want, I could give you the third form. This is the first line. So these are lines, right? So they will always have arrows. Dear children, do not forget to put the arrows for a line. Line is a never ending. Correct. This was first line. And second line comes and exactly falls under this first line. So what it becomes? Overlapping lines. One above the other. Correct? Can you have any other form apart from these three forms for two lines? No. You think you will never get any other fourth form. So two lines can be represented only in three types. Either they will intersect or they will never intersect, remain parallel. Or they will throughoutly intersect. At each and every point they are intersecting. So these are the only three types. And we are going to study these three types in a details in this chapter. Now, let me ask you a question. Why do you think are we going to study these linear equations? Can you think? Let me tell you dear children, these linear equations they help us in solving our day-to-day -day life problems. Simple, simple situations would be given to us. What we will do is that we will express them in the form of linear equations and solve them. We are going to get the solutions. Okay. And that is how, why this chapter. Now again, this chapter is very important from grade 10 point of view. It has got more number of marks. Why? Because it helps us in solving various numericals so very quickly let me see few examples and let me try to understand which of the pairs would be intersecting intersecting at a one point which of them would remain parallel which of them would overlap so what you can see on the board right now children is that we have got one two and three. Three pairs. This is first system I will say. This is second system. This is third system. I have taken two, two linear equations. Okay. And before I could solve them, I know that if I draw the lines, if I draw the graphs for this, how would the graphs be? Now let me take a very quick example. Suppose I wanted to draw the graph for 2x plus 3y equal to 6. What we used to do? Let x equal to 0 get the value of y. Let y equal to 0. Very quickly let us do it over here. We will see what happens. So if you remember, when we took x as 0, see it was what? 2 into 0, 2x plus 3y. So 3y became 6. y was 6 upon 3, 2. So what was the solution? 0 comma 2, one solution. And if we took y as 0, so this would be 0. 2x is equal to 6. x would be 3. 3 comma 0. So if, if I were supposed to draw the graph, what was the first solution? 0 comma 2. Where does it lie? 0, 2. 0, 2. It would lie somewhere here. What about this? 3, 0. Somewhere here. So, plot the two points, join the two points, get the line. This was our line. Do you remember? Very easily it was 2x plus 3y equal to 6. Graph of this. Similarly, when you would have taken this, you will be doing it on your own. Right now, I am doing it fast. x equal to 0. y becomes 3. And y equal to 0, x would become 5. So 0 comma 3, somewhere here. And 5 comma 0, somewhere here. If I join these two points, I would get a straight line again. 
So this was going to be my 3x plus 5y equal to 15 and whatever. So this was the way we are going to get the two lines and all those things. Correct. What you will be doing is that for this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, these equations, you will be drawing the graphs and checking it out on your own. That is also going to be the graphical solution. Okay. So graphs and you will see how does the how do the graph become okay we are going to solve it algebraically okay using the numbers itself you will be doing it graphically and cross verifying your answers okay so before i move on let us see here what happens so when we look over here in the first equation a1 b1 and c1 what is a1 see we'll compare this with a1x b1 y c1 this 6 will come here and become minus 6 so actually how would this equation be this equation would be the standard form how it would be 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 and this equation the standard form would be 3x plus 5y minus 15 equal to 0 this would be your a2x plus b2y plus c2 equal to 0 so my a1 represents 2 b1 is 3 c1 becomes minus 6 let me write here a1 is 2 b1 is 3 c1 is minus 6 here a2 is 3 b2 is 5 c2 is minus 15 and now let me check what is a1 upon a2 2 upon 3 I cannot reduce it further it means 2 upon 3 what is b1 upon b2? 3 upon 5. They are unequal. No need to go further. Let me keep it as it is. So just I will uh, I will arrange this in a proper way. Moving on to this example. Yes, what we could say very quickly. A1 was 2. B1 was 3. C1 was minus 6. Be careful. The 6 should come here. Is equal to 0 is our standard form. Ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is our standard form. So c1 is minus 6. a2 is 4. b2 is 6. c2 is minus 24. So what is a1 upon a2? This is 2 upon 4 which could be 1 upon 2. What is b1 upon b2? 3 upon 6. Again 1 upon 2. It's interesting now. These two ratios have become equal. Here these two are not equal. Let me check the third example first. Here again. A1 was 2. B1 was 3. C1 was minus 6. A2 was 4. B2 was 6. C2 was minus 12. Let me check. A1 upon A2. 2 upon 4. 1 upon 2 B1 upon B2 3 upon 6 again 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 C1 now again these two ratios have become equal A1 upon B2 A1 upon A2 B1 upon B2 A1 upon A2 B1 upon B2 equal let me check C1 upon C2 here 6 upon 24 1 upon 4 not equal third ratio is not equal. Let me check the third ratio here over here. Minus 6 upon minus 12. Again 1 upon 2. All the three ratios equal. And now comes the very important conclusion. When the first two ratios itself were not equal. A1 upon A2 not equal to B1 upon B2. Very important condition. A1 upon A2 not equal to B1 upon B2. In such cases the lines would be intersecting lines. Means what? They will intersect at one point. Means this point is unique and common to both. Means this system of equations has got one solution. Second, when first two ratios are equal, but the third ratio is not equal. I'm repeating A1 upon A2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is not equal to c1 upon c2 
in such cases the lines would remain parallel they are not going to intersect they are not having any common solution so this is going to be a hypothetical situation lines will not have any solution so they are little bit of no use to us because we want the solution but they are not having a common solution and and most ideal is the third situation where all the three ratios are equal a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 equal to c1 upon c2 in such cases the lines are just going to overlap means all the solutions of first line are the solutions of second line so very very ideal condition again very ideal we don't have okay there is no one who is perfect okay will satisfy all the points rarely we will have them few people are very very good but not all but yes this is again having solutions but many solutions this is having only one solution intersecting lines these are parallel lines without any solution and the last point before we are going to conclude our this video what we understand is that pair of linear equations in a two variables are of three types first intersecting wherein a1 upon a2 itself is not equal to b1 upon b2 no question of third ratio first two ratios itself suggest that the lines are going to intersect will have a common solution second type parallel lines where first two ratios are equal but the third ratio is not equal third coincident lines where all the three ratios are equal they are going to have infinitely many solutions and now first type and third type they have solution first type has got a unique only one solution we are more interested in this type type 1 we are more interested we are going to solve the type 1 type equations in this chapter more so type 1 where one solution is there or type 3 where infinitely many solutions are there solutions are present hence these two types are called as consistent system of equations whereas type 2 where first two ratios are equal and third ratio is not equal where the lines are parallel they don't have any solution hence they are called as inconsistent system of equations so this is our last point of discussion for today's video consistent inconsistent consistent pair of equations are those equations which give us solutions inconsistent are those which do not have any solution whose lines whose geometrical representation will give us parallel lines so that's all about the introduction the basic the three types slowly in the next videos we'll be solving these parts as of now intersecting lines parallel lines coincident or overlapping lines a1 upon a2 not equal to b1 upon b2 first two ratios equal third ratio not equal all the three ratios equal that's all for the first part thank you